As schools debate whether to start the year face to face or entirely online, a new report finds the number of children getting infected with COVID-19 is already growing. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, more than 97,000 children in the U.S. tested positive in just the last two weeks of July. A new report looks at data compiled from 49 states plus Washington, D.C., Puerto Rico, and Guam. It's a joint effort from the American Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital Association. As of July 30th, there were almost 339,000 cases reported in American children since the start of the pandemic. Kids made up nearly 9% of all U.S. cases. As parents and educators consider the potential impact of reopening schools, the report finds there was a 40% increase in the number of pediatric cases in the last two weeks of July totaling more than 97,000. 70 percent of those cases were in states in the South and the West. Research on testing released last week found minority children had much higher rates of infection than their white counterparts. In a study of 1,000 children, 30 percent of black children and 46 percent of Hispanic children tested positive for the virus compared to 7 percent of white children. While severe illness from COVID-19 still appears to be rare in children, it is also striking more often in children of color. Of those children suffering from the dangerous condition called Miss C, nearly three quarters were Hispanic, Latino or black. And the CDC says there have been nearly 600 cases of Miss C across 40 states. Ten children have died from Miss C in the United States.